Chesh, welcome to today's video, or in English. Hello. 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 Uh, <laughs> we've got to be bilingual here. Now, today's video is a taste testing of lots of Polish crisps, and some of them are more puffy, and some are more typical crisp looking. And they're not all savoury. I've they noticed. Are, yeah, they're yeah. not all savoury. This is going to be a really weird experience because we've got some toffee, we've got some strawberry, but then we've got the usual salt and vinegar. I, actually, I don't know if there's any salt, but there's bacon as well. So we're going to give it a try. What should we start with the savoury? Let's and go then savoury go. sweet last. Okay, let's move some out the way then, shall we? Let's make them neat and tidy. I think we should start with something that we have of a same name, and that is Monster Munch. Ours looks slightly different. And these say original. So our original is pickled onion. Are they pickled onion? I don't, or it, are they, because original to us means plain. It says nothing. Uh, it doesn't say anything They look on, like ghosts, not mon monsters. They do look like ghosts. So let's give it a try. Crispy potato snacks. They're not even called crisps, which I think makes sense. I think they're like a ready salted flavour. Oh, they're not a pickle onion. Um, no, they're no real flavour, but they're quite cool. Hang on, you take that. Let's get, there you go. They're pom bears. Are they basically pom bears? Are they made by the same people? It looks like a pom bear. Focus, there you go. Uh, they're quite thin. It's a pom bear. Oh, that's nice though. They're nice, it's pom bears though. They're not really, they are just very potatoey, aren't they? Well, I think they're quite salty. <laughs> I don't think so. But they do look more like ghosts. Whereas our Monster Munch are Puff. pickled onion, there's a flaming hot flavour, but they're puffed, aren't they? Or the and roast beef. Or they are, basically they look like this. Like a, like a foot. Like a bear paw. Like a paw. Our Monster Munch look like a paw, whereas these look like ghosts. They're nice, they're crispy. They're, they're, they're very Moorish. I think they're a bit boring though. Mm. Mm. No. I like a flavoured crisp. These are, they're not something you could dip though because of the consistency of them. Are. They no, can I, dip them in something. I think these are very... Child as I friendly. Said, child friendly. Good, Chaz. Well done. But these are made by Lorenz. I know in the last video, people were like, oh, some of the stuff's not Polish, like the Hit Biscuits. Good job I didn't like them. Um, whether or not these are the same. As I said, I got them from the Polish shop. Most look like they've got Polish names. There was a couple, for example, that I did ask, are these Polish? And they were like, yes. They have come from Poland, So if that all, helps. Yeah, all, I've checked. All of them have come from Poland, were made in Poland. So that's the best I've got. And, and I said, I did ask for some. Monster Munch, pretty good, pretty basic, child friendly. I probably wouldn't go out my way to buy them. Should we go with these next? Yeah. What do you think they're called? Uh, Duja Paka. Dusha Paka. Taxi? No, that's not a t. I think. Or is it a t? It looks like it's a t. It's either a tapse, tapse, or it is a wapse. I'm not sure. Hang on. It's quite hard to tell. I'm not sure if that is a t or a, a l with the line in, which I don't know what it's called. What is that actually called? What is the, the l with a line no in? No idea. I know it's pronounced worse. So it's either tapse or wapse. It doesn't say on the back either. I can't even give it away but it from is the back. A, it is a salt flavour. They look quite thin. They look quite crunchy. Ooh, interesting looking consistency. They're very light, very pale. Uh, very pale crisp. They look like prawn. Let's get Charlie's face out. Um, they look a bit like prawn crackers, but a very thin prawn cracker. I want to know what you think. Because they're not crunchy. They're prawn crackers. <laughs> it is like a prawn cracker. They're prawn crackers without the crunch. They're not even very salty. It does just taste like a prawn cracker. Good for dip. If you had a dip, mm. and perf look at that, that's like a perfect They'd shape. They'd be really good for dipping. Maybe these are dipping crisps. That is like a perfect shape to get a dunk in there. They're okay. But I they're not very like, don't get me wrong, you do get a bit of a snap, but they go very soft very quickly in your mouth. Mm. Very soft. That is a... It's either a mix... Well, no, actually, it's sort of half between a prawn cracker... And, and a poppadom. between a poppadom. <laughs> it's, like, it's like... I agree. It's like a Bangladeshi cross um, Chinese mix. But 
I said I'm disappointed considering the picture is of a big, big sieve of, a big spoony thing of salt. Not very salty. Where is the salt? Unless, unless in Polish it's like, bring your own salt. Um, I don't think so. I don't really know. Uh, that's weird. Like, they're surprisingly okay. They're quite tasty. And if you had a dip, I think they'd be really good in a dip. Curry. Have them with a curry. I think we'll save them actually for our next curry, to be fair. Mm -hmm. um, but both a little bit bland to start off with. Next up, what's the next Shall one? Shall we go with these ones next? Okay. These are proper puffed, like what's it's or Cheetos. But they're salt flavour, again. Go with the pronunciation. Okay. Uh, Tegreski? Tegreski? Tegreski. Tegreski. Tiger crisps, that's what I'm going I with. I think that's what, they, I think Tegreski might be tiger. I'm so, not sure. But are they crisps or puffs? But I think we would still call them crisps, wouldn't we? Although they're not crisps. They, they're almost like, so for like young children that are just learning to eat, you get all the puffs. That's the kind of consistency they feel like. That's they a, should melt on your tongue, I reckon. That's a weird smell. Have a smell of that. Um, so they are big puffs. But they're obviously salt again. And the same image, actually, it's the same image of the wooden wooden spoon ladle. But they are, they are some fat off puffs. I don't like this. It tastes like I'm eating packing peanuts. It does, doesn't it? They're basically packing peanuts. There's no flavour. There must be no salt in this. We have got a flavoured one of these to try in a minute, but... I just don't understand. Like, there's no flavour. They just m go into mush. I don't like that. Maybe they are good, because we do have these a lot for babies, like, weaning. Maybe that's what they're meant for, because they melt on your tongue, so they they're do have easy a, they to They do have eat. a young... A young... Maybe you bought a child's Young food. cub on there. Um, it might not actually be a young cub, to um, be fair. Give them a miss. I don't want to eat the rest. It's just weird. Um, I just... There's no flavour, no, no real flavour in these first three. I'm going to assume there will be a lot of flavour in the next ones because we've got, I think, bacon, chive, strawberry and toffee. So these ones are the... We went with plain first. Pla very plain. Easy to start with. We'll yeah. go with these next. The problem is, I can't even say I don't like them because I, I've got no real opinion. I don't like the texture of them. Is there anything else? Oh, I know, I like the texture. I still like them. It's like, because mm, you, you melt, they melt in your mouth. I anyway, do. next. You have a go at pronouncing. This is Chipsy. I can Chip do Chipsy. Chipsy. Chipsy? I think it's Chipsy. Uh, a yeah is a. What's the what's the brand? I don't even know where to start. So I've learnt this in my Polish lessons. If it is a R Z, you don't really pronounce the R. So it's more like a Przesnaki. 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 Yeah, I'm going. I'm going with that. Uh, Przesnaki. Przesnaki. Okay. There you go. Uh, but yeah, you don't really pronounce the R when it's next to the Z because it's quite difficult. I'll go difficult. with Chipsy. 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 I think it's, no, Chipsy. Chipsy. No, it's Chipsy. I'm confusing myself. They smell better. Please, I beg you. This don't smell like that much flavour. So these are normal crinkle cut chips. Oh no, I don't know why I just said that. Uh, crim it's because it says chips there. Uh, these are crinkle cut. Did you say chips? Like, because, I, because of what it's saying. Um, Disappointed I know, in you. I'm, I'm, I'm losing myself. Um, these are normal crinkle cut crisps. Uh, they look okay, they're quite thick. Smell quite bacony. I think they could be more bacony. They're nice though. Okay. No, then I think they're really good, actually. They're not overpowering, which is funny because... And actually, they do taste more like a um, Polish sausage as well, or bacon. I like think. a Polish meat. Mm. Yeah, they do actually... So compared to our bacon... They've got a bit... These a bit taste garlicky. a bit more Polishy. A bit garlicky, do you think? Like a little bit of garlic or spice in it. Very nice. Yeah, but Polish, Polish meat is quite often quite free... Not fragrant, but... Quite like herby and, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, there's Spices, a lot more. There's sometimes a lot more flavour that we're not so used to. I have spent a lot of time going to Polish shop and getting bread mm -hmm. or chleb and uh, meat. 
meat. I completely forgot what sausage is now. Cross. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Can't remember now. Hang on. Stand by. Kielbasa. I, I did go to the fridge, but Charlie's actually eaten it all. Um, no, I think these are actually a fairly... They're not too overpowering. Certainly better than these three. Mm -hmm. Not too overpowering. Definitely tastes of bacon. I, I, that's a winner. I was and say, crispy as well. A lot of meat flavoured crisps all taste the same. But actually, I think they taste quite bacony. They they are very bacony. That, I, I don't mind them. I will happily munch on them. Next now, one. The ones I was most excited on, for. Then. Sour cream ones. Star. Twistos. 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 The, these ones are look a little bit more interesting, don't they? Um, show you the packet. Packet is perfect for, um, what is it? Chive and... Sour cream and sour chive, cream I assume. Well, that's what I'm assuming. Packet looks good. That's the flavour I assume they are. You might be disappointed. So it's these sort of triangle, sort of cage type um, crisps, if it focuses. Come on. Come on, you thing. Uh, so, there you go. Like oh. a triangle cage. You should have got the other flavour. There's a Texas grill flavour. I bet they would have been yummy. Oh! Oh, <laughs> I thought, when I first bit into that, I thought, there's not really any flavour. And then oh I've got a bit God. of chive. These are the really good. The chive got me. These um, are really good. But there's not, it wasn't instant flavour. Mm-mm. Not mm. instant flavour. And then, got ya. I like these. That's, that's a real, it's weird because it's a real delayed. And they don't, they don't smell very strong at all. No. But when you eat them, you get the real chive flavour hits you. But... It doesn't come instantly. The flavour isn't there straight away. It's, it's it's almost to start off with. It's the same as these, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it gets you. But I really like the texture of these as well. That's really. I'm not really a fan of um, uh, sour cream and chive. To be fair, if so, that is the flavour. Oh, sorry. So you you <laughs> prefer sour cream and chive? I do. But it's just it's really really weird because you would think with with crisp like this that the flavour and stuff would be coated on the outside and. It it's really probably not. is, but maybe I don't know. I just don't understand why or you don't. Or is it get... in the crisp? Why? But you're what? right. It's not there instant. No, it, it, it's like as I said. When you first bite into it, it's the same as the first three we tried. Very mm -hmm. flavourless. And then as soon as it sort of starts melting, because that's what's happening with this, and then the first three we did. A lot of the time, it's about it melting on your in your mouth on your tongue, mm -hmm. and then it gets you. Weird. I don't really like the flavour because I don't like oh, sour cream and chive. So good. But you do. So a, a weird mix so far. The savoury options have been interesting. Yeah. Um, now we're going to go to some sweet options though. And this is interesting because I don't think I've ever had a strawberry crisp. Or it's a, it's a strawberry puff because I assume they're made from corn. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They have the corn. So not ones. really, they're not potato crisps. They're corn puffs. Okay, go on then. Let's whack them open. Does it smell like a lot? They smell like strawberries, like fresh strawberries. Oh my god! It does, yeah. Like a, if you open like a fresh pallet of strawberries, that's what they smell it, like. Yeah. So you'd think it would it would smell like sort of artificial strawberries, but that is a proper strawberry. We have had fruit flavored twisties. I guess is the most similar thing oh, we've had. So it's just a normal puff. It's, it's not going to be so strawberry flavor. Eyes out of the way. Um, it's just a normal puff. See this. Is the instant flavour. Then it then... disappears. A bit. You... Yes and no. Yeah, so you definitely get the instant flavour because obviously it is coated on the outside. I think it could coat a little bit more. They could be more generous. I think it's quite good though. Um, I just don't like the texture still. I don't mind the texture. You like? Do you not like uh, Watsits? The thing I don't like about Watsits is I find they, they're just really messy. They get in your teeth because they go into like a melted mushy consistency. I can't believe I like this. I could picture myself at the cinema Good as, a, as an alternative to popcorn because actually because it is corn when it's melted it tastes like popcorn. Mm, I feel like the taste in your mouth now is like pop well you've been eating popcorn yeah, yeah? what I'm saying is so you, when you first eat it it's the puffed normal puffed like mm -hmm. Cheetos, Watsits and obviously these um, and so you get the real strong strawberry but obviously these puffs, they melt down. And as soon as it's melted down, it tastes just like strawberry popcorn instead. Mm. That's really good. I'm surprised I like that. I thought I was gonna think that was absolutely disgusting. But strong, proper strawberry, doesn't taste artificial. I think that's banging. 
Weird, but banging. All right, last one. Flips. Top okay, so flips. this got flips. Uh, made by, I assume it's made by... A flips the company. Crawl. Crawlick. 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 Gluten free. Gluten free. Okay. Oh, these are very toffee. This is like toffee popcorn. That is, so when we smelt the strawberry, it hits you with strawberry, but this... This is a whole other level. Okay, once again, it's another puffed. It's another puffed one. Oh, that's good. That is good. Like toffee popcorn. Yeah, but it's different though, isn't it? Because I really like that. I really, I think it is really nice. What, even though you don't like the puffed that you've just moaned about for the last however many? I know, I quite like these though. These, really good. Once again, doesn't taste that artificial, I don't think. No, I, I think don't it, think it. I think it tastes pretty natural as much as... Toffee cow. No, well, toffee sugar, isn't it? No, mm. no, no, it's fine. Toffee is natural. Um, but it tastes natural. It's strong. I think the flavour lasts a bit better with these than the strawberry I can't ones. believe I prefer the sweet crisps compared to the savoury. Mm. But they are amazing. Okay, all right. As we always finish off then, least favourite and favourite. Do you want to go first? Mm -mm. No, you want me to go first. Okay, I'll go first. My least favourite... Hang on. I've just got to remind myself. Just checking your taste. This is going to be controversial considering. My least favourite are these ones. Because... Are you ill? No. I do like the texture. Right. I do like the texture. But I really don't like sour cream and chive. He won't even let me eat sour cream and chive Pringles in the house because you hate the smell of That's them. That's not even remotely true. You're such a liar. She's always trying to make me look bad. You don't know what to smell. You moan every time Why I eat them. Why do I always end up like the bad guy? Anyway, um, I think they're my least favourite. I really like the texture. I just don't like the flavour. And actually having no flavour in these is actually better than that flavour. My favourite... Oh, I'm going to go joint. Oh. Joint favourite. Um, the strawberry and toffee. Oh, let's get both flavours. Um, they're my favourite. I'm, I'm so surprised. I wouldn't normally... I don't know if I've ever had a, a fruit flavoured or a, a sweet flavoured crisp or puff, but they are amazing. Your go. Um, go. Right, least favourite for me was the salt puffs. I don't know if it is salt because I didn't get a single bit I of salt. I just on don't think they taste like anything, no. so I think that was disappointing for me. My favourite. Mm, these. They're your favourite. Closely followed by these. Well, we have diff slightly differing opinions today. Slightly. Um, I, it, they're just very unique, a lot of them, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Like, very unique uh, compared to sort of what we get here. We get some variants, like, for example, the um, the star ones. We, I think we've got some. Bugles. Bugles. Bugles, they're called. I think they're, so they're slightly similar. I don't think we have any similar to the fruit ones. So the similar thing we do to this are aimed at babies. I sell them at work, mm. but they are for like weaning babies and um, for adults. I don't think we normally get crisps like this. You might get small poppadoms or small crackers, but I don't, this, this is weird because it's like a, a combination of both. This, these two are probably the closest to what we have. The bacon crisps, we get a lot of crisps with like meaty yeah. flavours and they're like a pom bear to us, like a children's pom bear. Yeah, um, a weird selection. Now, don't forget, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel because the next taste testing we will be doing will be some more Polishy type foods. So things like pickles and, and that sort of thing that I can get from the big Polish supermarket. It will be actual, it won't be snacks. Well, unless you class it as a sack, snack. Have you had sauerkraut before? No. Well, maybe it'll be Charlie's first well, time. Well, did we try it in Poland? 
I don't, th well, sort of, yes and no. Um, so we got that. Now, don't forget also to subscribe to the vlog channel, Charlie and Rob. All our trips that we've had in Poland are on there. We've been, to, well, Charlie's been to Gdansk, we've been to Krakow, and I've been to Wrocław. So there are plenty of vlogs on there to watch from Poland, as well as lots of others. Uh, we're off to Australia very, very soon. So there'll be loads from Australia as well. Thank you so much. If you've got any more recommendations, please put them down in the comments. If you want to support us, then you can become a channel member. You can buy me a coffee uh, or, yeah, buy some merchandise that will be down there. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, say bye. Bye. I'll say bye in Polish. Papa.